Hey everybody, this is Anthony from IntoTheDarkroom.com and this video is going to show you how to install a website in a temporary location. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a website that I want to install and I'm going to click buy. That's going to take us to our installer and I am going to go ahead and put in a discount code here if you have one. Um, you can put one in. If you don't have one, you could probably find one on our website. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click install. And now I'm going to click on the user license agreement that I agree. And I am going to proceed with the installation. This contact information is important. You're going to want to make sure that you put in your correct email address and one that you can access because it's going to send you not only the location that your product is being installed at, it is also going to send you a product key and that's going to be important for updates and moving the product from the temporary location into the permanent location. Now that we're at the domain setup area, this is important. You're going to want to pick the exact location, the final location that you want your website to live. So for right now, I'm going to type in my domain. And if I want the website to live at the .com, then I'm going to leave it just like this. Uh, so the product will be installed here, www.anthonyronga.com. But for this, for this demonstration, I'm going to pretend that I have multiple sites and I want to set up this website as my weddings portfolio page. So it's going to ask, do you want the site to live in a subfolder? This is not the temporary location. You do not want to type in temporary or test or anything of that nature. Your, your subfolder is the final location that you want this to be. So since this is my wedding portfolio, I'm going to type in weddings here and you'll see that the product will be installed here anthonyronga.com forward slash weddings the temporary location will be picked by the installer at a at a step down the road so we're just gonna wanna go ahead and put the permanent information here the final resting place of the website and we want to click continue to FTP settings now your FTP information is made up of FTP hostname FTP username and FTP password this information can be found by at your host provider. We recommend uh, HostGator and Site5. Um, and if you don't know your FTP information, you can go ahead and give them a call. I'm sure they can email it to you or get it to you over the phone. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put in some FTP information here so we can start the installation process. I'm going to put in my username and I'm going to put in my password. Now, I don't know my FTP document route, so I'm going to leave this checked and allow the installer to guess it for me because it is good at guessing what the FTP document route is. And so I'm going to go ahead and click Test Settings and Continue. Now we're going to see the installer looking through and making sure that my server is compatible with the product. So it's checking to see which versions of PHP I have and all the things that it needs to actually run the product properly. If any issues should arise, it'll notify you. And you can always click the I need help if you find an issue. So we're going to go ahead and let it go through the process. And right here, what it did was it found that my folder weddings uh, had files in it. And so now it's asking me, do you want to overwrite these files and install this product? Or no, install the product in temporary mode and I'll change it later. If you know you want to overwrite the files that are there, you're more than welcome to go ahead and click yes and overwrite the files. But this demonstration, we're trying to install it in a temporary location. So I'm going to click no, and I'm going to install as temporary mode. And then I'm going to come back later and move it from temporary mode into the permanent weddings folder that I have uh, set up here. What that's going to do is it's going to give me some time to go in to that temporary space where really nobody could see it but me and set up all my portfolio pages, put my logo in and so on and give me some time to to get the site the way I want it to look and then I can come back and go ahead and move it to the permanent location. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, no, install as temporary mode, I'll change it later and you're going to see that it's now going through the process of installation. The installer is doing all the heavy lifting, it's putting all the files in all the appropriate locations and it's picking a specific temporary folder for you. 
that temporary folder location, that link, is going to be sent to you via email. So you're going to want to make sure that you go and check your emails. You've probably already gotten a few e emails right now, uh, but some of the emails are going to have information like your product key, which we're going to need. The product key is associated specifically with a uh, product that you're installing, and it's going to allow you to update the product and allow you to move the product. Um, and you can see here that we're finishing up the installation product uh, process. It only took a uh, short time. It's cleaning up right now, and we're going to be done soon. Okay, so we have our success page. Uh, when you get to the success page, sometimes it offers you <clears throat> an additional discount on another product. If you choose to accept this offer and you click yes, it's going to take you back to the installer. All your FTP information will be fast tracked, and you'll be able to install another product at a discount. Uh, pretty quickly. So uh, always look for that option. Uh, you never know what percentage you're going to get. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click continue um, and let you see what happens if you don't have, if you don't want to take advantage of that 25% discount. You could always tweet it out to people uh, and let them take advantage of it. And it's kind of a nice option that everybody should uh, participate as a community. So when, when you're done at this point, you're going to go ahead and go run to your email box and make sure that you got your emails. If you, don't, if you didn't get any emails, check your junk or your spam folders. Uh, sometimes they go into there, but it's going to give you a temporary location. It's going to look something like um, your .com forward slash the name of the template dash index.php. You're going to be able to click uh, on the links that are provided to you and start setting up your website. Let's assume at this point that you've set up your website and it's all pretty and has all the images in it and you're ready to go live with it. What you're going to do is you're going to you're going to come back to our installer, which is into the darkroom.com forward slash installer, and you're going to need your product key uh, for the product that you want to move, and you are going to need your FTP information again. Instead of clicking buy, we're going to click uh, update product. And when we click update product, it's going to ask us for this really long uh, string of numbers. It's our it's our product key. Um, if you don't know your product key, or you lost the email, um, or you just want to find it really quick, uh, you can click email me my product key, and it's going to ask you for the email address that you used when installing the product initially into temporary mode. Uh, that's why it's really important that you make sure that that email is very accessible that you put in there. So you can click email me my key and it'll send you the key that are so the keys that are associated with that email address and the products associated with that email address. Um, once you get the product key put in here and you click start update, it's going to ask you for your FTP information and it's going to look very similar to the steps that we did before. And it's going to take you to that screen that tells you um, or offers you the option to yes I want to install this now or no put it in temporary location and basically what you're going to do is you're going to click yes I want to install this at the final location and it's going to move all the files over to the weddings folder or whatever folder you specified and that is then going to be the permanent location and you're not going to be able to move it from that point so you're going to want to make sure that uh, all the information that you put in is where you're going to want the website to be. Well, that's the general idea of how you put a product, uh, our websites, in to temporary mode and how you move them to the final location that you want them to be. I hope that was helpful, and if you have any questions, you can always contact us through support. Thanks again, guys.